Berberine comes from nature. It comes from plants like the Burberry bush, which is the European Burberry bush. It comes from golden seal. You can even find it in the Oregon grape. It is an extraordinarily researched and powerful natural compound. Berberine is amazing at helping to increase the production of adiponectin. What's adiponectin? If you haven't heard about it, you're going to be really interested. So adiponectin is a hormone that we produce that is responsible for the weight, especially in our midsection. So if you think about it, as men, over time, more and more, and especially when men are younger, they start to build weight where in their body? Not their legs, but really their midsection, right? Not their arms, but their midsection. Why? Because their production of adiponectin is lower and it continues to decrease over time. For us as women, we have higher levels of adiponectin when we're younger, but as we start to age, and especially once we're getting into our 50s and perimenopause, menopause, that hormone starts to decline. So what we wanna do is we wanna find natural ways to increase our production of adiponectin, and berberine is right there. It helps to support the production of this powerful hormone, and it makes a huge difference in the way that we carry our weight, where our weight is. We know that when fat accumulates around our midsection, that's the most unhealthy and dangerous type of fat, right? Because it's literally accumulating around our precious organs. And we know that when our midsection is more than half the circumference, like the inches of our midsection is more than half of our height, that's when it becomes an issue. So you always wanna work to keep your midsection down to less than half. And for a woman, it's usually about 35 inches or less, and we focus on that. I have always focused, for my own health, on my circumference of my midsection, my, my ratios of lean muscle to body fat, way more than I would ever focus on a scale. I literally do not have a scale in my home because those are not the numbers that I wanna be thinking about. I don't even want them in my head. I don't know what my numbers are, but I know that berberin helps to increase adiponectin and that keeps my belly lean, which is what I want. Berberin has been shown through clinical research to help reduce appetite. And the way that it works is it's working with the hormones again. It's working with specific hormones that help us to reduce the amount of caloric intake. So by helping us to reduce our appetite, we're actually taking less calories in and therefore our caloric intake during the day is reduced and we get the benefits of less calories that we have to work to burn and therefore it helps with weight loss. So I love the fact that it's working on our appetite because so much of our appetite is controlled by what's going on in our brain, right? It's not just hormonal. And when we're feeling that desire to eat something, it could be because our cortisol is too high, our stress hormones are too high, and it's affecting our brain chemistry. And that feeling of anxiety, like, oh, I have to eat, and it's an emotional eating. When we reduce our appetite, we're actually improving our overall sense of well-being. I'm not talking about like eliminating our appetite or anything like that. I'm really just talking about sort of reducing the unhealthy appetite that we can build due to other factors in our lives. And that's where berberine really helps and comes in. Berberine has been shown in clinical research, again, to activate the AMPK enzyme, which in turn really creates the energy at a cellular level. You've heard of AMPK. It's the master metabolic switch. It's also considered to be the master longevity switch. So you're getting youth activation as well as metabolic activation. It's why this is the area why berberine is often called exercise in a pill, right? Because it's really helping your body to increase the temperature, increase the activity within the cell so that your body is literally raising up its temperature, which is like mimicking exercise in many ways. And so berberine and exercise, which I love to do, and I know that you do as well, 
even if it's simple exercises like getting up once every 30 minutes and shaking it off, or if it's walking, you know, simply 7,500 steps a day. And you don't have to do that all together. These are just simple things to do. There's even um, non-exercise exercise in, an es in essence, which is simple things like twitching. You hear about it, I speak about it in my book. You know, berberine is a big part of activating the youth in our body. But within my book, Glow 15, I started speaking about the power of berberine and what it does for our metabolism, how it helps us to burn fat. I have another video which talks about the different types of fat, the white fat and the brown fat. That's also connected to the link um, below and um, you can watch that as well. My goal, my goal for all of us is to understand how nature and science together can impact our well-being, can help us to lose weight, can improve our longevity, can improve our quality of life. And you can do these things with nature. So berberine is one of those superstar ingredients that can do so much in conjunction with a healthy lifestyle. And you can get so much more out of that. So I hope you really enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. There's nothing I love to talk more about than things like adiponectin, you know, AMPK, our metabolic health, and just ways to sort of optimize our biology. And berberine is certainly one of those ways. I also would be so excited to read your comments below. So if you have experience with berberine and you wanna share those experiences, whatever they may be, I would love to hear from you. And our team loves to respond. And what we love more than anything is really to create that sense of community. So this feeling of being a community, we're here together and we all want to get the most out of our lives. And it's got to be a combination of science and nature. And in the case of berberine, it's thousands and thousands of years that it's been used throughout Asia, from China, all the way to India. I want you to know that you don't have to do the work to figure out where things come from, but you know that you can trust the results, you know, really the results that we share with each other in our community. So again, I'm super excited to be sharing this with you and I look forward to seeing you again in our next video.